Hi, today I'm going to show you how to convert a recurring decimal into a fraction. So let's have a look at example 1 then. So we need to convert 0.5 and there's a dot on the 5 into a fraction. So the first thing to realise then, this dot above the 5 means that this decimal is repeating. So it's 0.55555. So the first thing you're going to do then is let x equal this recurring decimal. So it's 0.555, etc. Okay? So we've set up an equation here. So the next thing to do then is multiply both sides of the equation by 10. So x times 10 will give me 10x, and 0.555 multiplied by 10 will give me 5.555 etc. Okay, so we've now got two equations here. So if you notice now that the numbers after the decimal point are the same for both equations. So what I'm going to do next is subtract these two equations away. So on the left hand side I'll have 10x take away 1x which gives me 9x and on the right hand side um, all I need to do is take away the whole number parts because I know the decimal bits cancel out so 5 take away nothing gives me 5 and then all I need to do now is solve this equation and I can solve this by dividing both sides of the equation by 9 because x is being multiplied by 9 so I get x as 5 ninths. And as you can see I've converted it into a fraction. So let's move on to example 2 then. So this one's a little bit harder to do. So I've got to convert 0 0.17, there's a dot on the 7, into a fraction. So this dot on the 7 means that the 7 is repeating at the end. So the first thing I want to do then is let x equal my recurring decimal. So this means the 7's repeating. So like before then I'm going to multiply my first equation by 10. So x times 10 is 10x. And if I multiply this by 10 I get 1.777 etc. Now if you notice now, the bits after the decimal point don't match. So I'm not going to subtract the two equations this time because I'll just end up with a nasty decimal. So what I'm going to do instead is multiply both sides of the equation by 10 again. So 10x times 10 is 100x and 1.777 times by 10 is 17.777. Let's call this equation 3. Now if you notice now, the equation which I've just worked out, this decimal here, the 0.777 matches the 0.777 on the second equation. So the bits after the decimal point are matching on both of these. So this means I'm going to subtract these two equations away. So I'm going to do number 3 take away number 2. So on the left hand side I'll have 100x take away 10x which is 90x and on the right hand side I just need to take away the whole numbers because I know the decimal bits cancel out 17 take away 1 is 16 so if I solve this equation by dividing both sides by 90 this will give me x is equal to 16 ninetieths and this fraction I can cancel down if I divide it by 2 and I get 8 40 fifths and this is my final answer uh, make sure you watch my second part uh, to this video and this involves changing some harder recurring decimals into fractions where we've got two dots above the numbers uh, thanks for watching